Hey guys, I'm Rashi Hamalia, and today is my first collaboration with a brand called Stylewana. Now you guys may or may not have heard of Stylewana. They are a website where you can purchase a ton of Korean, Japanese, Asian skincare. You guys know how much I love my Korean skincare. So they reached out to me and I was really happy with their website. I mean, their website looks amazing and they have a ton of products that are unfortunately not available here in New Zealand. So I decided to collab with them and they've sent me some products to share with you. Now I've had these products for about almost three weeks, two and a half weeks that I've really tested them out. There is a couple in there that I really like and there are a few that I didn't particularly like, but we'll get into those details soon. Now they've also given me a discount code to share with you guys. So just know that the discount code in 10 Rashi applies to pretty much everything on their website. So you'll get 10% off pretty much site-wide with any brand that you purchase. Now, this excludes weekend deals and instant offers. You can also get 15% discount on very select specific brands. For example, Blythe, ooh, I love Blythe. Hamish, yes, Innistree, Iunic. Oh, there's so many brands that you can get 15% off. So what I'll do is I'll link those details in my description box so you can know exactly which brands you can get 15% off. If you do choose to use my code, you will get a discounted price and I will make a teeny tiny commission. But of course, you don't have to use my code. I'm just here to share with you some of my favorite products. And of course, reviewing the products that Style One has sent through to me. So I'm going to start off with a product that I absolutely love. So I, in fact, asked style one whether they could include the ionic black snail restore serum so this is a product that's not available here in new zealand and i've been wanting to give this a go for some time because hiram raved and raved about it so this has been on my list to try and now i've given it a solid go for almost three weeks i love it i freaking love this serum it's amazing. So before this serum, I have been loving my Cosrs Advanced Snail Mucins Power Essence. You can see how much of this product I've used up. I use this product day and night, every single day. It's amazing. It's very hydrating. Also this product you can purchase from Stalwana. So check out the price on Stalwana for this. It's really affordable and it has about 96% snail secretion filtrate. And if you're someone who's looking to try a snail product that is affordable, give this a go. It's beautiful. But but, 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 but. Then you have the Black Snail Restore Serum. So this is a little bit different. This one has a very simple ingredient list, which I really, really like. It also, this one doesn't have any fragrance, no alcohols, nothing like that. Now this product, on the other hand, has 70% of nail, yeah, 70% of nail secretion filtrate. So it's got less nail secretion filtrate than this product. However, it does have quite a few other ingredients that I think are fantastic. So let's have a look at the ingredient list. It has the snail secretion filtrate at 70%. Then it's got centella acetica leaf water 10%. Glycerin, niacinamide, sodium hyaluronate. Okay, it has fantastic ingredients. So I had a look at this. It doesn't look like it has any fragrance, which I'm very, very happy with. I don't want to be using serums that have fragrance. So this doesn't. It also has quite a few plant root extracts. It also has licorice root extract, which is fantastic if you want to avoid pigmentation from developing. So from an ingredient deck perspective, I love it and how it performs, it's even better. So this provides me a similar hydration that I get with the COSRX. The only difference with this serum is that it really calms down my skin. And that is the key difference that I've found between these two products. This one is great for hydration, but it really doesn't do anything for redness or calming your skin down or anything like that. This one, in fact, is amazing. There were a couple of days there where I had redness develop on my cheeks and I sometimes get that if I'm trying new makeup products or skincare and it doesn't quite agree with me. I will get some irritation, some primers give me irritation or foundations that will break me out. So anything like that, when I've used the serum straight away, the next day after that one application, 
my redness just completely settled down. I'm amazed. And I just want to thank Hiram for introducing me to this product and of course for to Stylemana for sending this to me to try out because this is phenomenal. If you're someone who gets a lot of irritation or redness or your skin is a little bit sensitized, I do recommend this. It's a lot more affordable than my Marula oil from Drunk Elephant. So normally I use my marula oil if i get irritation and i want something to calm that irritation down hands down marula oil from drunk elephant is amazing but that's very very expensive so i've been on a hunt to find something else that's a little bit more affordable and wow this is affordable um the next product i asked them to include was the Purito sunscreen. So this is a mineral sunscreen that is SPF 50. Again, this is a product I can't get here in New Zealand. So I saw that Stalvana had it and I asked them to include it when they were sending me these products. This is beautiful. It does have a downside though. It gives your skin a little bit of a white cast. So it's not that bad in the beginning when you first apply it, it's okay. Like I can live with the, a little bit of a white cast, especially for a mineral sunscreen. I haven't found any mineral sunscreen that doesn't give me a white cast. Even the tinted ones give me a white cast when you reapply. And the same thing goes with this. It gives me a white cast when I reapply. When I first apply it, it looks okay. I can go out with it. But of course, reapplication. Mm. However, the texture of the sunscreen is so beautiful. It's not sticky. Like often mineral sunscreen, I feel like they just sit on your face. They don't absorb. You get this thick, sticky layer. This doesn't have that. It doesn't have stickiness. It doesn't give you any thick layers. It's just a really beautiful product if you can handle that little bit of a white cast. So I'll show you what this looks like on my hand. So I'm filming in daylight. So this is how it applies. So as you can see, as I'm rubbing it in, the white cast is disappearing, but it's still, there's a hint of a white cast still there. You see that? But it's really not too bad. I mean, did you see the texture of that though? So check it out. This is what my hand now looks like after it has absorbed in. So as you can see, it's really not bad at all. It gives you a very, very slight white cast. But other than that, it's so beautiful but I'm going to reapply because what happens is when I reapply, then I really see a white cast. And that's when I think, mm, damn, reapplication is where I feel like, damn, you get, you really then get a white cast. So this is a second layer that now I'm just going to apply. But do you see that texture? It's just, so lightweight and creamy. So now this right here is the second application. So you can definitely see how that white cast is now more pronounced. It still is not horrible, but it's definitely there. I mean, it is so much better than my Garnier. So I bought this on a recommendation from a dermatologist on YouTube who really recommended this. It's a sunscreen that's also for kids. It's sensitive, it's 50 plus. Everything about it just sounded amazing. And this gives me a white cast and this is not even a mineral sunscreen. Not to mention the ingredient list on this one um, is not the best. This has denatured alcohol and unfortunately, again, you guys know how I feel about denatured alcohol. I don't generally want denatured alcohol in my skincare products, especially in a sunscreen that you're going to be applying and reapplying and reapplying. So I really don't like this. Not to mention that this flared up my eczema. So when I applied this on my neck, my eczema flared up the next day and I just, I just can't use this. I can use this on my legs. It's okay for my legs, but it's really unpleasant to use. It's thick. I, mm. And by the way, just going back to my arm. Um, so the sunscreen has dried down 
and you can see that it hasn't left any sort of greasiness on my hand there's a little bit of shine of course but there really isn't as a greasiness i love that but of course you can see that there is a teeny tiny bit of that cast now i can live with a cast like this especially because this is a mineral sunscreen the ingredient list in this is really good it doesn't have any denatured alcohol or any alcohol it doesn't have any fragrance it's oh, it's just such a shame that it gives you that white cast i do really like how lightweight this is so i will repurchase this but i generally use this either if i'm going to be going out only for a few hours so i don't have to reapply or I've been using this at home. So when I'm working at home, for example, I apply my sunscreen every single day and I don't mind if I, my face looks a little bit white when I'm at home and I will apply this and apply this and not feel like a greasy mess. Not to mention, did I say this is affordable? I hate buying sunscreens that are very expensive because then you don't end up using the amount that you need to to apply. Because it's expensive, you end up using a small amount, which is not enough to cover your face and give you adequate sun protection. So using something that's a little bit more affordable is good because then you're not afraid to keep buying that sunscreen and you're not afraid that it's going to put a dent in your bank balance. So I really appreciate the price on this as well. These were really the two products that I specifically asked Style Wanna to send through to me because I was interested in trying them out and we didn't really have them here in New Zealand. So the rest of the products that I want to talk to you now about are the ones that Style Wanna picked and sent through to me. Now the first one is Bior, Bior, Bior UV Watery Essence SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. Let's talk about the pros first before I jump into the cons with the sunscreen. The pro is that, wow, the texture of the sunscreen is nothing like I have ever experienced. It is so incredibly lightweight. So I'm gonna pop a good blob on my hand here. And I'm just going to rub this in. It's, it is definitely like a watery gel texture. Do you see that? It's like gone pretty much straight away. It absorbs into the skin so easily, so quickly. It doesn't give you any sort of white cast. I mean, check that out. There is zero white cast now this is not a mineral sunscreen this is a chemical sunscreen which of course is the reason why well you would hope it wouldn't give you a white cast and it really doesn't i don't get any white cast in this but do you see that texture look at that so my skin feels hydrated soft um not too sticky it does have a little bit of a a feel to it a little bit of a sticky feel to it but once you work it into the skin this really absorbs right in and it's beautiful the texture is very very lightweight even lighter than the Purito so it sounds like it answers all our prayers however you can smell the alcohol. This one has so much alcohol. The first time that I opened this, I just went, whoa, that's intense. So looking at the ingredient list, you can see straight away, where is that alcohol? The second ingredient in this sunscreen, it's the alcohol. Now it's not denatured alcohol. So denatured alcohol is a lot worse for your skin than standard alcohol. So it's not that at least, which is good. But again, in second place, I think that's the reason why this has such amazing texture. It's because of that alcohol. So I don't really like that. And then if you look at towards the bottom of the list, it does have fragrance as well, which again, I don't really want fragrance in my sunscreens, but I know that it's hard to avoid. It's, it's quite hard to avoid fragrance in sunscreen. And same with alcohol, it's hard to avoid alcohol in sunscreen. Now, this didn't give me any irritation though. So I did use this for a few days. I didn't get any irritation and it also didn't flare up any eczema for me like this one did from Garnier. So at least, this one didn't give me any skin issues which is really great and i know that i will use this but not for every day definitely not every day this is probably something that i'll use 
um, on a inconsistent on and off basis because I really don't want that much alcohol on my skin and I'm trying to avoid fragrance in skincare products as well so it's it's a bit of a shame because when I first felt the texture I was like wow this is amazing so I don't really recommend this but it is affordable if you wanted to give it a try you could of course so the next product they've sent me was a cleansing oil so this is not a brand I've heard of before. This is a meal super grain cleansing oil. So they sent me a travel size version. And also on Stylewana's website, you can buy the travel size, which is fantastic. Which, especially when you want to try a product, but you don't really want to commit to it. It's good when they do travel sizes. And I've used a really decent amount of this. This is just your straight up cleansing oil. There are pros and cons. Let's talk about the pros first. The pros are that it removed my makeup with ease, absolutely. So I'm used to using cleansing balms, not really cleansing oils, but I was really happy to see that it really did break down that makeup and that sunscreen. So my other sunscreens, those mineral sunscreens, again, can be difficult to break down and this did a really good job with that. It also has this interesting scent it smells a little bit like almond and cocoa. Like it's got a mix of almond and that chocolatey cocoa scent. That's what I get from this. So it's quite pleasant to use and the scent is not too strong. It's definitely noticeable, but it's not too strong. It's also a very affordable oil. So with cleansers, I definitely want to stick to affordable options because if I start buying expensive cleansers, I will be out of money very, very soon. Um, so it's good to know that this is very affordable. Now there's a couple of cons with this product as well. One is that I kind of struggled removing waterproof mascara with this. So when I had waterproof mascara, I really had to go in there to break it up and go with multiple applications of this oil. So in, from that respect, it wasn't the best. By the way, I could not find an ingredient list for this oil anywhere on the internet. I just couldn't find it. Maybe it was in Korean and not in English because I definitely couldn't find it. And I looked up on Stalwana's website, they didn't have it either. So I ended up emailing Stalwana and asking them if they had an ingredient list and they were really, really kind. They came back to me straight away. They, they contacted the brand, got the ingredient list and really got back to me in less than 24 hours. It was amazing. So they sent me the ingredient list. Thank you. I really appreciate that because for me with skincare products, I really like to focus on my ingredient list. Before I looked at this, I knew this had fragrance because there's really nothing natural about almond and cocoa scent like I knew there had to be fragrance in this product but the fragrance in this is really high it's like the seventh ingredient I wish they had kept the fragrance of this right at the bottom I mean I have other cleansers that I use that have fragrance I don't particularly mind that because a cleanser is something that's going to be on your face for like 10 seconds then you're going to wash it right off your face so I don't really mind if a cleanser has fragrance. It also has mineral oil as the first ingredient. Now, mineral oil is an interesting ingredient. I don't have any issues with it. Some people say it's not good for you, so I will leave that up to you to decide. For me and with the research that I've done, it doesn't seem to be a problematic ingredient unless, of course, you're allergic to it or you've got a sensitivity to it. Some of the good ingredients in this oil, unfortunately, are right at the end. So for example, um, the salvia, Hispanica seed extract, the rice extract, linseed seed extract, quinoa seed extract, and the oatmeal extract. All of these are right at the bottom of the ingredient list. So we know that there's not a lot of those ingredients in here, which is a shame. I wish those ingredients were at the top and not at the bottom. So, will I purchase this oil? Not really. It didn't remove waterproof mascara. It also has fragrance. It's very high up on the list. So no, I'm not really going to buy this. My favorite way to remove makeup is still using the Hamish All Clean Balm. I, ooh, there's so much light. This is the product right here. I love this balm. It really breaks down makeup, sunscreen. It also has a very light scent, so it's really not as strong as this one right here. It's super light, but of course this does have fragrance. 
but it's amazing and guess what Stylewana sells this as well so if you're interested in buying Hamish I highly recommend this cleanser as a balm cleanser check it out and you can use my code to buy this from Stylewana it's also really affordable on Stylewana so I normally buy this here in New Zealand from our local store but looking at the prices they are a lot more expensive than what I can get on Stylewana so I appreciate that and by the way, I've used like six tubs of this. No kidding, it's that good. Next that Style One I sent through to me was this eye glitter. It's quite interesting because this eye glitter looks so similar to Stila packaging. Check that out. Doesn't it look like a Stila eye glitter? So when I first saw this, I was like, ooh, this looks like Stila. But it's not Stila, it's the brand Jewel Potent Eye Glitter. This is a product that I think is okay. It's, um, I'm not gonna recommend this to you guys because I didn't particularly like it. Fortunately, the problem I had with this eye glitter was that it applied really patchy. The color is really beautiful. Unfortunately, it just applied very, very patchy on my eye. So, um, with this applicator for sure now if i did dip in with my finger and then apply it all over my eye then it worked nicely but other than that what i really don't like about it is the patchy application and it has a lot of silver glitter because this is the peach shade i would have preferred if it had more gold than silver because it has silver i don't particularly like it for my skin tone the pros are with this product though that it did dry down really nicely once you applied it it didn't really budge and again it's affordable but the color and the fact that it applies patchy and it's a little bit hard to use and hard to blend i'm gonna say pass now we're coming to the last product that style one i sent through to me which was an eyeshadow palette now this palette i'm gonna say straight off the bat i did not like I just think I'm the wrong target audience for this palette. First of all, the packaging is super cute. You can see that, you can tell from the packaging, it's probably targeted for a younger audience than for me. Then the actual palette itself. From a color selection point of view, it has really nice shades. It is peach based. You've got a deep brown, a mid-tone brown, a light beige shade right here. You've got a, a champagne pink shimmer, and then you've got this bright peach shimmer right here. There you go. That's what this palette looks like. Now, unfortunately, there's quite a few things I didn't like about this palette. Uh, the mattes were really ashy. So for example, these two shades right here, they weren't very pigmented and they applied on my skin tone really, really ashy and really dry. So I felt like the formula for these mattes it was very dry and I didn't like that on my eyelid. I don't recommend this for anyone who has eyelid texture or dry eyelids or mature eyelids because the formula of these matte eyeshadows are just way too dry. Then you've got the shimmer shades. Now this shimmer shade was okay in my opinion. It didn't have a lot of pizzazz, a lot of wow. It was just a very soft glitter shade. And then this peach shade was really nice. I think I definitely enjoyed using the peach shade. So this is really the only shimmer that I like from this palette. And this shade right here was the only other shade that I like from this palette. This has some nice pigmentation it blended out nicely other than that this palette really didn't work for me i'm not familiar with this brand so korean makeup brands i haven't really tried korean makeup is generally geared towards lighter skin tone so i've never been motivated to try their products and this is definitely something that is more for someone who's younger and lighter in skin tone. So I'm gonna pass on this as well. So I just wanna say thank you Salwana for sending these products through to me, really appreciated that. So while I'm here, I also wanna quickly mention some of, some of my favorite Korean skincare, well, Korean Asian skincare. Style Wanna also stocks Pyongyang Yule. There's three products from Pyongyang Yule that I wanna tell you about that I totally love. First is the Pyongyang Yule Essence Toner. This is so beautiful, it's hydrating, it's lightweight. You can use this during summer, winter, fall. You can use this whenever you want. All skin types, it is fabulous and it has a lovely gel like texture it's 
highly recommend this one. I've also been trying out the Pyongyang Yule Moisture Ampule. Wow, this product is so hydrating. It is. It has got a very interesting texture. It's a little bit sticky on the skin. So this is not a product that I use during the day. I only use this at nighttime. So after I do all my serums, I will put a layer of this on and I will just pat it into the skin to kind of form a layer. And then on right on top of that, I will take my moisturizer and then pat my moisturizer in. And this is a humectant. It has some great hydrating ingredients. So you wanna make sure that you seal this off with a bit of an emollient moisturizer. And that way you get the best benefits from using this product. And in the morning, you'll see your skin so hydrated, so soft. Ah, oh, this is incredible. I am loving it. You also don't need a lot of it. So this one is, 100 ml bottle i've been using this now for months and i've only made a dent on it about this much so it's amazing i've also been trying the pyongyang yule moisture cream so this is a cream i don't recommend if you have really dry skin this is really only good for people from normal combo to oily skin tones because it's not very emollient it is perfect as a layering moisturizer, particularly in fall and winter. So what I do normally in fall and winter is I will use two moisturizer. One will be a lightweight moisturizer like this, and then I'll use a little bit more heavier, more occlusive moisturizer on top of that. And that's because my skin generally dries out a little bit more during winter and fall. So this is great for this. And this is also great as a one-off moisturizer in summer because it's so lightweight. Another product that I wanna mention that I use as a layering product is the Hada Labo Goku Yin moisture lotion i think this is called this is the white bottle this is so amazing i am also out of this and i need to most definitely repurchase this style wanna stocks this brand yes it's amazing so i've been struggling again to find this brand here in new zealand i did buy this bottle in new zealand but since then i've been struggling to find this on the shelf again so it's great to see this Stalvano also stocks this brand it's super affordable it's lightweight it's hydrating it's just everything you want a lightweight moisturizer to be that's what this is great as a layering option in winter and fall and as a one-off moisturizer in summer Ah, beautiful. I also want to mention my toner. Because I'm out of the Pyongyang Yule, I have been using Laneige a lot. And I, you can see how much of this I've used up. This is beautiful, particularly in fall and winter when my skin needs just a little bit more moisture, a little bit more hydration. This has been amazing. It is super lightweight. It has a watery texture and you really don't need a lot of this, especially if you have combo skin with some oily areas or even you have oily skin, you definitely don't need a lot of this, just a very small amount because it's very hydrating. And it's, it's lovely. By the way, what do you guys think about my eyeshadow today? I am so loving this blue. I mean, just look how beautiful that looks. How gorgeous is this blue? I'm, I'm dying over it. I don't want to take this look off. Let me show you the palette that I used for it. So I've been playing with my Pat McGrath Subversive palette. And this is this one right here. And so you can straight away tell. Oh, I don't want to drop this. You can straight away tell which color I've used. Yes, it is so incredibly stunning. I just can't get over how stunning this shade is. Whew. Lastly, I want to mention my go-to face mask, particularly in winter and in fall, because it's very hydrating. Now, if you love honey, you have got to get yourself the I'm From Honey Mask. This is just beautiful, nourishing, and luxurious, and everything, everything that I ever wanted a honey mask to be. This is it. It is so hydrating, especially when the new season kicks in. My skin can sometimes do a whopper on me and get really dry. And just, it gets really weird sometimes because of the change in season. And I will often do a couple of days with this mask and then my skin just 
sets itself right up again. I, I don't know how that happens, but whenever my skin needs a pick me up, this mask has been stunning. So delectable, you feel like eating it because it just smells like honey. It, it has like, I think 30, yeah, it has 38.7% real honey in this. I mean, just check it out. It just can't get any better than this. Let me just check it out. Look at that. I don't generally use real honey on my skin just because it can get very sticky. It's hard to wash off and then it's all over your clothes. It's, it's a mess. But with something like this, it's just so smooth and emollient. Spread it evenly on your face. You can wash it off easily. It's, if you're looking for a face mask and you love honey, give this a go. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Again, this is also available from Stalwana. If you're looking to purchase any of these recommendations or any other Japanese or Korean skincare, check out Stalwana's website. You feel free to use my code INFO10RASHI to get yourself either a 10% or a 15% discount. Of course, you don't have to use my code, but if you do, thank you so much for supporting my channel. And I'm very excited to continue to bring to you some awesome content. Um, also, let me know in the comment section below, have you tried any of these products? If you have, what do you think of them? What are you, some of your recommendations? Love to know what is it that you're loving at the moment. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. See ya.